Oh my god, I have, have a you? confession. What? <gasps> I have a confession. Oh no. Not about me. He's like, so my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a little sister, right? <laughs> oh my. Uh, god. That is juicy. Do you guys know what I did recently? I got the whole family here. This is what I did. I went on Instagram and I asked you guys on Instagram to send me your juiciest, your stinkiest, your naughtiest, your most disgusting jail bitch. Confessions and I thought I was gonna get like okay. I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna get one or two I thought maybe like a hundred maybe 200 because I asked for novels I asked for the longest juiciest confessions that you could ever think of and we ended up getting like 4,000 <laughs> There are literally four hot 4,000 novels that I have to read and I'm so excited I'm gonna read through every single one, but probably not in this video with that being said I have a confession to admit to all of you. I have a very dry scalp sometimes during the <laughs> Sometimes during the winter, I get a little dandruffy. Sometimes I do a little shake shake and maybe it's some salt and pepper coming out. But I have figured out the antidote to dandruff. I fixed it. Was I ashamed? Yes. Have I fixed it? Absolutely. With the help of function of beauty. Listen, I used to ask people like, oh, what do you do for your hair? Your hair looks amazing. What do you do? And I would go and buy the same shampoo and conditioner and what do you know? It doesn't work for me because my hair is different from everybody else's hair as your hair is different too. So I love the fact that function of beauty, you just take this super quick and thorough quiz and it will actually curate a formula for your hair. So whatever your hair type is, maybe it's thick, maybe it's coarse, maybe it's slightly wavy or straight, or your hair goals, like maybe during the summer you want to you want to lengthen and moisturize, maybe during the winter you want to you want to moisturize that scalp. It will send you a formula straight to your door that is customized to you. You can even customize the color and the fragrance. You can go fragrance free if you want all on Function of Beauty and you don't even have to make an extra trip to the store because it comes delivered to your door. I've been using Function of Beauty for years and I've been raving about them literally on my YouTube channel, on my podcast because I'm obsessed. My fiance uses Function of Beauty. We've got our different formulas because it's custom and it just makes my hair so silky smooth. I love the fact that it's dermatologist tested so you know that it's not gonna irritate your scalp and on top of that, they use no parabens, no sulfates, they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. And now it's even easier to try Function of beauty because right now you can get 20% off your first 16 ounce custom set when you guys click the link in my description. Also, I recommend becoming a member because you get a ton of exclusive perks on top of that, like free shipping, early access to new products, all that good stuff. So click the link in my description to get 20% off your first 16 ounce custom set. Custom hair care is the way to go. So thank you Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna rank confessions. This, the top tier, the dirtiest, nastiest confessions. I'm calling you my sleep paralysis demons. I'm terrified of you. Do I love you? I don't know. The second tier is straight to jail. Don't pass go, don't collect $200, go to jail, bits. I love you. I'll send you some money for the little commissary, but you go going to jail. The third tier is everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has their days. You're gonna be fine. I believe in you. We can all change. We're all evolving humans. I don't even judge you. Maybe a little. Then the tear underneath that. Have you tried living a little more? Like this isn't really a confession. This isn't even juicy. This is what I do in my free time. Like it's not that bad. And then the last one is this is not a confession and if someone tells you it is, you're being gaslit. This is, you're fine. You're completely fine. You need to go out and explain touch some grass. So with that being said, do we just get started? Okay, so we have 3,831. This one is one time after school hours when everybody went home in third grade, I pooped my pants and instead of going to the bathroom, I went to my classroom and took off my underwear and wiped my poop under my bully's table. <laughs> I didn't regret it at all. I feel like it's not a confession, you know? Yeah, that's not a confession. That's not yeah. a confession. First of all, your bully is that. literally asking for it. That's standing up for yourself, okay? That's but, called building character. Well, I mean. <laughs> to be honest, it I is a bit of a biohazard. Pants. You've never sharded your pants? No. Oh my god, I have, have a you? confession. Oh. I sharded my pants oh my once. God. This was like when we were dating, too. What? <laughs> <laughs> this one is after. We started living together and I shot my pants. <laughs> I never told you this. I'm gonna fucking die. I have really bad indigestion issues. He was in the restroom. So I took off my undies and I threw it in the trash because I didn't wanna I didn't wanna eat friends and I shot it. I feel so embarrassed. But you know, the part where she rubs it under the bully's 
Chinese table. I guess it's a confession, but I don't blame her. I don't think she's a bad person. So where do you rank yeah. it? Yeah, it's still a confession. Yeah. So everybody makes mistakes? <laughs> everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> everybody has those days. I just happened to like him at the time. Otherwise, I would have rubbed it under his table. <laughs> I think you gotta go see a doctor. <laughs> I think it's a medical condition. <laughs> oh my god. You wanna it's know? Just another shark. One time I had dairy and I really needed the toilet. I didn't know I was lactose intolerant at the time and I had to run to use the toilet. The closest toilet was in a really crappy shopping mall, but it was an emergency. So, literally a second later, I end up stinking up the whole room and I run out of embarrassment because the shit was so bad. <laughs> But ran into my friends who needed to go. We walked in and this woman walked out and everyone was blaming her for the smell. Yeah. It's like a, it's not really a confession. Yeah, it's not really a confession. You no. know, but here's the thing. Sometimes when I'm in a public restroom and I poop, <laughs> it's just turning into my confession video. And if it makes a sound, mm -hmm. I feel the need to say sorry. To go <laughs> Pretend like it's not from you. You're like, oh my god, who is that? <laughs> oh my god, who did that? Oh, so good. All right. I stole my parents' money. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh my god. Me and my friend snuck a guy in my window at three in the morning to have a threesome with. When me and my friend walked in the front door like normal, we realized that my dad was awake and watching TV in the living room, so we just turned the TV on in my room louder to drown out the noise. I was 19. Well, I feel like it's not really a confession because you were of age. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like my whole family's here, so. <laughs> I can't even tell you good for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> what can I say right now? Or it's, it's, like a... it's good for you and then there could be a category like, I wish it was me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good for you. You do you. Yeah, you do you. That's a good one. Note to self. Never eat leftovers at work. Three years ago at work, I was hungry and there was leftover lunch at the common area. I chose to eat the salad that was sitting on the table for probably a few hours. Bad decision. Two hours later, it's time to go home and my stomach starts hurting really bad. I'm on the subway going back and the ride is about 50 minutes. I sat in my seat in agony waiting for my stop to come. It starts to feel a little bit better. I'm three stops away. I stand up and I stood in front of the door getting ready to go off to the next stop and my tummy starts rumbling. I felt the shit coming. I knew I couldn't hold it in all the way to walk home. It takes 10 minutes to walk home from the station oh my and my gosh. butt cheeks gave in and released. Ah! Yes, I shit myself on the subway. Oh my god. I was wearing loose shorts, so you know some oh of it fell god. on the ground. Good thing by this time a lot of people were not on the train so no one saw. When the door opened, I dashed out and hid behind a sign on the platform. I was struggling to wipe off the shit before the next train. A middle-aged lady starts walking towards me and saw me wiping my shoes. Instead of outcasting me for what I've done, she handed me a pack of tissues and walked away. This was literally the worst day of my life. I dashed home with my cardigan wrapped around my waist. I feel for that person. Why are you just mouth open? I feel bad. Holy cow. Life goes on. What? I, I, I would Yeah, I would be traumatized. Whenever we sad. eat hot pot the next day, oh you gotta watch out. Do you shit yourself that often? No, I don't care. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is a confession, but everybody has those days. We're all good people who just have really bad control over their <laughs> <laughs> hey, just want to know if you can hook me up with your cousin Dan Dan, or at least ask him to say hi to me. Here's my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> my sister and I had a really bad fight about chores. She was being such a little bitch <coughs> that I used her toothbrush to wipe the toilet a lot. <laughs> And I put it back and I watched her use it. I was like nine and she was 15 and I never told her That's about the it. the same age difference as us. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this story sounds familiar. Yeah. So, wow. where do you rank that? Oh my god, this one is. Can you get an infection? Pro probably, yeah. Okay, then that's kind of bad. I'm an associate lecturer in a well-known university in my country. I'm in the industry, but I teach several months a year for the past eight years. My students usually rate me as their best professor, and I usually bring real-world cases and problems to classes, and we try to solve them together. After they leave university, I usually stay in touch with them, and sometimes I let them know about interesting opportunities or career advice. Usually, they write to me asking for advice. My colleagues at the university are all professors with at least one PhD. They also praise my work, and some of them ask me for advice. Guess what? I've never been to a university, not even a <gasps> single day. What? I'm not sure if this is scary or if it's just funny. Oh my uh, god, that is juicy. And I'm assuming that you need to have the yeah. degree to you know, qualify because otherwise this wouldn't be a confession. It would just be, oh my god, really lucky and like I have a really good skill. Ah! Is that a jail? Yeah, it, right? I guess in legal premise maybe, but wow. In Stephanie Sue world, I say, good on you. Because you must be talented. Yeah. You must have been self-taught, which is more impressive, you know? I feel like the only reason I'd be a little freaked out is if like, you were in a situation where you were pretending to be a doctor and actually treating patients in the real world, but you have no degree. Then I'd be like, okay, jail. But then what if they're great at it? Everybody comes uh. to them for advice. I think that's more of a responsibility on the company yeah. to do a background check. Yeah, and if like people are saying you're doing great, you do you. Mm. Get that raise. Get promoted. I took an Uber once when I was going home from somewhere late at evening, and on the road, the driver pulled out his penis from his pants and did what you would imagine he would do when he pulled it out and he started moaning while I was in the back seat. What? I was so scared I didn't say anything until I was home, but I did leave a bad review on that bit. That's jail. <laughs> That's jail. I mean, come on. You can't even think, oh, he's definitely just gonna drop me off. Yeah. Like, you're gonna, th oh my god. This is my friend's story. When she was a kid, she was visiting her grandpa's grave with her parents. Because she was bored, she threw a rock at an old lady, a total stranger, and hit her head. The next day, they read the old lady passed away due to brain damage. Nothing happened to my friend and she lives a completely normal life. Um, this reminds me of those, my friend. <laughs> me, did me and my friend and I. Dang, that's, that's just messed up. Yeah. Wow. My ex-partner once fingered me during a class when my teacher was evaluating all my other classmates' presentations. <laughs> 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 I evaluated us. You do you. I have a confession. Oh no. After that? <laughs> no, no, no. Not about me. He's like, so my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a little sister, right? <laughs> it's about my friend. Okay. So one time I went on a vacation with a couple friends and we were all staying in the same hotel room. It was me and another guy sleeping on one bed. Yeah. And then a couple, a couple sleeping on the bed next to us. Uh-huh. And I thought we hear things. And then that exactly uh, nine months later, <laughs> the baby was born. You being serious? I'm dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. Yeah. Wow, that's actually beautiful. Did you tell the kid that? Yeah, <laughs> always tells me every time I see him, you know, you were conceived in my house. And I think it's a little weird. <laughs> I think it'd be a little weird, yeah. Um, this is just weird. Me and an ex-friend used to hook up last year until it got to the point where we're literally having sex at school. Like, casual fingering was happening while we ate lunch. <laughs> Why were you eating lunch and doing this? I can't even be in the same mindset. Either I'm hungry and I'm eating food, or I'm not hungry. And I'm eating sugar. Sure. Okay, sorry. I'll share this because no one else knows except for the people involved, of course. So it's a Friday and I walked out of the elevator after a tired day of school, looking forward to laying in bed. But I hear some weird noises at the staircase. So I turn my head to see my neighbor giving someone head on the staircase. I guess she was in too deep, which is why she didn't notice the elevator doors opening or my loud footsteps, but I stood there because I never saw someone giving head in public. I could not believe what I was seeing. This was like three years ago when I was 15. So I could see her body and her head in between a pair of legs, but I couldn't see the guy's face because it was out of view. They were like on the top part of the staircase. I don't know why, but I was just staring at everything and then my mom called me out of, a set, out of, out of all of a sudden and I had my ringer on full blast, so it literally shook the out of all of us. 
<laughs> and then I realized that I was just standing there witnessing the whole thing. She stood up abruptly and ran towards me and she snatched my phone away because she probably thought I was recording it. Then the, came, then the guy came up behind her and I kid you not, it was my cousin. <laughs> like, I like, literally like it was, it was Dan Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yo guys, all right, ready? Take a good sniff on my armpit. Oh yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> I'd die, I'd literally die. This one is not even your fault, girl. Oh my gosh. A few years ago, while I was alone at church with a man. We were having a relationship together. He was a technician and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to give up the goods. We ended up having sex on the church floor. I felt like a sacrilegious whore and I loved the feeling and I sometimes think about that incident while masturbating. I'm an awful person. Wow. At church. You know what? You do you. You do you. Okay, this is really intense. Once after my boyfriend and I broke up, I had a friends with benefits and it went on for about six months. We lived near each other, so it was pretty convenient. We, we got super horny one night, but we had nowhere to go do it. So we went to a park nearby and he blew my back out in the woman's bathroom. We walked around holding hands for a bit and then I blew him in the football field. <laughs> bro, bro. It's a lot because my family's here, but like you do you. I feel like you guys are just humble bragging at this point. <laughs> you guys are using this opportunity to stick your scandalous, fun sex life in all of our faces. <laughs> it's a bit much, okay? We get it. Wish it could have been me. I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. It's not juicy, but it's really embarrassing. When I was in the seventh grade, I told my mom that I can't see well and my eyes weren't working anymore. And I insisted so much, because you know, we don't go to the hospitals unless we're dying, that she ended up taking me to the doctor. And when we arrived, they did all the tests. And at the end, he gave me, to do a gla he gave me glasses to do the final test. And the moment that I wore them, I told him and my mom that I can see way better. And it's so amazing. And it's different than before. And he started bursting out laughing and he laughed and laughed until his face turned red and that moment I was so confused. Turns out it was just a frame. There were no lenses. <laughs> it was just a fucking frame. We went back home and I made my mom swear on her life that she wouldn't tell anyone. That's literally me. That's some shit I would do. Yes. <laughs> Boo, just thinking about it, I'm literally in the world. <laughs> Just thinking about it, I can see better, I swear. Did you know someone actually posted a confession on Reddit and she had brought cookies to her school and everybody fucking ate the cookies. Oh, I think it was a real story because I think she might have gotten arrested. I don't, I forget, right? But she had baked her grandparents' ashes into there <gasps> because she thought it was comical and everybody fucking ate the crumb, not laughing. I'm laughing because of how shocking it is. One time, me and my old friend were absolutely stupid and desperate for some concert tickets. So we found some old rich man on Omegle and made him pretty much our sugar daddy. We used to send him feet pics in order for him to send us money. Pretty much after two months of doing this, we had enough money and we bagged front row seats to a BTS concert. <laughs> and that's the story on how me and my ex-best friend scammed, but not really scammed an old man to help us buy tickets. That's not a scam. Till this day, no one knows that we got the tickets from doing this, and we just told people that we were really lucky and we worked overtime at our jobs for them. <laughs> Feed pigs, totally normal. Even if it was full on nudes and you're not a minor, go for it. It's BTS. <laughs> I would send feet pics for BTS. I would send feet pics to BTS, but I think that's <laughs> harassment. <laughs> I once hacked into my homeroom teacher's Facebook account. <laughs> what the fuck? To see which one of my classmates is the spy that snitched on us that we were passing around the answer key to a very, very hard test, right? So it's probably like Facebook messaged anonymously or whatever. I found out who it was, but then my curiosity hits me and I snoop around more. I find out that the teacher is having an affair with one of the parents of the classmates and I saw the nudes too. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Me and my boyfriend have been together for four years. When we first started dating, I had a huge crush on my teacher, so I imagined that I was dating my teacher instead of my boyfriend. When we were making out, I acted as if I was kissing my teacher and accidentally moaned his name! Ah! Ah! My boyfriend questioned me about it, but I just said he heard it wrong. But of course, I lost feelings for my teacher, and now I love my boyfriend dearly. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one, Chief. Everybody makes mistakes. Is it a mistake? 
No. What? What do you mean no? Is it illegal? It's jail tough. or not? Jail. Sleep paralysis demon or not? Demon. So like around five years ago when I was maybe in the fifth grade. Bitch, you in the tenth grade right now? What? You said five years ago when I was in the fifth grade. <laughs> Guess the body part was big on YouTube. If you don't know, basically it's sort of a lewd game where you touch each other's bodies blindfolded and guess the part that you're touching. It's a video we've yet to do. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you take a shot of not alcohol, obviously. <laughs> My first sip of alcohol was when I turned 21. <laughs> and it was always a warm fucking cause light. <laughs> that was my last confession of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I think we all need to do some jail time. I think it'll do, it'll be good for us. I would like to say though, that most of us are good people. We just have sexual escapades and we have poop issues. <laughs> Keep it friendly. Keep it poop free, hold in your shots, wear a diaper. It's time to invest in one. Make sure to check out Function of Beauty linked in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. 